Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we have the first of a two-part video where we will be making a heterostructure using Vesta. And then of course you can take these heterostructures and perform electronic structure calculations using them. And so we're going to begin by opening a gold unit cell that we made in a previous video. I will put the link uh, down in the description of how we made this video. I'm sorry, of how we made this unit cell. And uh, basically what it is, is that this plane here is the 111 plane of gold. And if you watch the other video, you will know that, or if you know about this stuff in general, that the 111 plane is not a naturally exposed crystal face of the gold. Okay, so let's begin on making our heterostructure. Uh, the reason why we use the 111 surface is because the surface is commonly used by experimentalists and as computational chemists or people in material science we want who are doing computational studies we want our systems to be the most uh, as, as close as they can be to their experimental counterparts okay so we'll start by going to edit well let's go to edit edit data unit cell transform <clears throat> excuse me we're going to uh, transform this three by three by three select okay select yes apply here's our new unit cell um, what I'm going to do is actually reduce I'm going to press control Z and go back here I'm actually going to edit this a little differently unit cell transform I'm going to keep it one unit cell in the two unit cells in the Z dimension and uh, well, let's take, let's take a look at this actually. One second. So I want to expand, I'm going to expand three unit cells in the A dimension, two unit cells in the B dimension, and one and two unit cells in the C. Okay, edit data, unit cell, transform, three, two, two. Yes, okay, apply. Okay, th this, this looks better to me. So now what we are going to do is we are going to file uh, export data here. We are going to save it as 2x, 2x, 2. Actually, no, we have 3x. So we have a gold unit cell, 111 phase, expanded 3 by 2 by 2. Save this as a VASP. Okay. I'm going to press Control W. Uh, let me turn this off. Control O. And so here is our unit cell. Now, what I'm going to do is press this, do it along the A axis, actually along the, the Z axis. So now I'm looking down on it. And I am going to, now we're going to add the vacuum, which I have a previous video. Uh, on where we do this for ruthenium. So I'm going to I'm going to cut periodicity along the uh, A and B dimensions. So now uh, if I were to use this crystal structure in a quantum espresso input file, it's able to be used now uh, because at least in the A and B dimensions because I don't have this periodicity anymore. Uh, because this atom would be the same as this atom, and if I were to save this as an XYZ file and try to use those coordinates in quantum espresso, I wouldn't be able to. Uh, but you can see in the in the Z dimension, I do have periodicity. This is fine because what we're going to do is extend the unit cell such that periodicity will be broken uh, through that way. So you, you'll see what I mean in a second. So now what we're going to do is we are going to file uh, export data. And now we are going to export this as an XYZ. So I just do this XYZ here. And so this will actually save as a dot XYZ, but I have the name XYZ also in the name so I can tell. So I'll save. Do not save hidden atoms. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, control W, don't save. So I'm back here in an, a brand new Vesta screen. I'm going to come into my file and I should have these three files on my desktop or in whatever folder I am in. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the XYZ file and I'm going to copy all of these atoms 
and I'm going to go into the vast file. I'm going to, to delete all of the atoms I have in here. Paste these new ones, delete the AU, and for the new number of atoms, which I believe is 84, let's go back and double check. Okay, it is 84. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend the uh, unit cell 10 angstroms in the Z dimension. So I'll make this 24. Actually, I'll just make this 30. Okay. So I save this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the VASP file that we just edited. And you can see here, I now have my unit cell, my supercell with vacuum. These atoms uh, will not be included now. Uh, when I resave this as a VASP. So if I were to put in, so basically I, I gave I gave it the coordinates of the XYZ file and Vesta automatically puts in these extra atoms like here. But in reality, I only have the coordinates for uh, these atoms, so to speak, in uh, in the file. And so this the, fi the uh, VASP file, the coordinates I have here will be able to be used in quantum espresso input files. This is by far the most challenging part of making these. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to re-straighten this out. Let me turn it a little. And I'm going to now add in just a single molecule of carbon monoxide, just a simple diatomic gas, um, like right here. Okay, so now I will just simply go into this vast file. And I am now going to press enter here. I'm going to give space for two new atoms. So these are the two new atoms, right? We would have like nitrogen and oxygen. I'm going to delete these in a second, but I'll keep them here now. So I have one oxygen, one nitrogen. And so the fact that this nitrogen is first in this lineup means that this atom is a nitrogen, this atom is an oxygen, and all 84 of these atoms are gold. So I want my nitrogen on the surface. Um, and what that means is my surface is actually going to stop at the old, where the old uh, Z dimension ended. So it's going to be, this is going to be the surface of my heterostructure this dimension and I want to make it I want to make the nitrogen facing the surface so I'll make that one angstrom above and I'll make the oxygen uh, two and a half angstroms above the surface so be 16.6 and um, they will stay not at the origin but at I want them in the center so I want half of 8.6, so I want half of this, which will actually be this coordinate here. And I want half of 9.98, which will actually be this coordinate here. Okay, and let's just add this to the name up here. This doesn't actually matter. We have nitrogen, oxygen, and gold. Did I say carbon monoxide? Let's just do nitrogen monoxide or nitric oxide. Okay, save this. Press escape. Uh, now we go back to VESTA and we are going to open the VAST file and you can see there it is. There is our nitrogen nitric oxide on the surface and if I want to shift it Sorry, if I want to actually shift it more in the Z dimension, if I go space filling, it might be a little full there, a little too close to the surface. Let's shift this up a couple angstroms. So I'll, I will delete this with Control W. Go back in here. Let's make this uh, 16 and 17. Save. Go back to Vesta. And you can see here we shifted it up in the Z dimension. And that's it. So this is uh, probably the easier way to make a heterostructure. You would just basically put your molecule in here. And 
uh, you can see here upon just visually expanding three by three by three apply uh, let's cut these out this usually takes a second and this out you can see here looking down at the surface oops let me This is basically what the expanded structure looks like. Uh, you can see we have our nitric oxide on gold. And this is the easier way to make heterostructures. Um, in the next video, in part two, I'm going to make one where I actually combine two different crystal faces. Uh, it's much more complicated, but like I said, we, we will go through it in a different video. But this is how you would make like a crystal structure of like a simple uh, diatomic molecule on a surface or maybe something more complicated like a C60, you could put that here. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you have any ideas you want me to touch on or if there's something I missed, um, like I said, something new you want me to go over, just put a, put a comment down in the comment section. I'll be sure to take your uh, comments into consideration. And uh, okay, thank you.